Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Whether in your garage shop or a professional woodworking shop, organization is very important. Now we've always struggled to store our drills and our impact drivers, and we've come up with this drill storage charging station. It has five slots for your drills and impact drivers, as well as seven adjustable shelves for varying bits, drill bits, impact drivers, batteries, chargers, all the varying accessories that go with a drill or impact driver. Now we manufacture this product on our five foot by eight foot ShopBot CNC. Let's go ahead and get started. Once I was happy with the first design, I then moved the vectors into Vectric VCarve Pro. Here we can nest the parts on our material and then apply tool paths needed to fully machine out the parts. With our machine turned on, home to our proximity switches, and the spindle warmed up, we can zero our Z-axis to the spoil board. After loading a sheet of material on the machine, we can turn on our vacuum pump, close the main valve, and watch the vacuum suck the material to the machine bed, and gain vacuum to hold our material in place. The brad point really makes a clean hole, and the flute geometry allows the chips to get ejected and cleared on the retract motion. These holes will be used to quickly and easily assemble the unit with screws. This bit is going to cut out all of our parts utilizing production speeds and feeds. We are going to push this bit to Amana's recommended feed rate of 600 inches per minute. Amana Spectra coated bits are intended for high production work with high speeds and feeds. The coating provides a micro thin ceramic coating which enables the tool's cutting edge to retain a crucial sharpness and lubricity. You can see the spindle going up and down in the middle of the cut. That is going to leave little tabs to keep the parts in place and all connected. We are going to cut the rabbits and dados needed to quickly and easily assemble the unit. Being these operations are not through cuts, we don't normally need to worry about tear out on the bottom of the material. This bit has a spectra coating as well. We are slightly below the speeds and feeds of the compression bit we used earlier, but still extremely fast at 500 inches per minute. We model up a few vector lines and apply a pocketing toolpath in Vectric VCar Pro to complete these joinery operations. The vector lines are as wide as the thickness of our material. Every time we get a new material thickness, we quickly modify our geometry and save it for future use. This bit provides an excellent sidewall and bottom cut quality to make the joinery flawless. With all the CNC work completed, we can vacuum out the sawdust and do a little quality control. The very sharp CNC bit provides an excellent cut quality with little to no tear out. Off camera, we use an oscillating tool to make quick work of separating the parts. Then we head over to the router table and use a carbide tip flush trim bit to flush trim the tabs. We adjust the height so it's right above the tabs to allow the bearing to ride along the plywood even when a dado or rabbit is there. Here you can see the router bit's bearing has no problem riding along the Baltic birch plywood edge as the dados are taller than the bearing's height. To put this unit together is very easy. In the CNC process we added 3mm holes to allow for the included screws to secure the parts together. Being we have an 18 gauge brad nail gun in the shop, we are going to hold the parts together with that first, then come back and drive the screws. This unit with glue, brads, and following up with screws can be assembled in under 15 minutes. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the product, we're very very happy with it. It's something that took us a few iterations to nail down as far as the design, as well as the speeds and feeds with the router bits and the tooling, and also the nesting. We want to optimize this as much as we can because this is a product we are ultimately selling to a customer and we need to be as efficient as possible. And the ShopBot CNC does an excellent job of cutting out the quality parts with the high quality bits from ToolsToday.com. Big thanks to ToolsToday.com for sponsoring this video as well as supporting what I do as a content creator. Let us know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We'll be happy to provide some feedback and answer any questions you may have. I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.